All right, so we just had another main fight, literally back to back from Jogo to Maharaga. Sukuna is just, I don't know, he's just going crazy out here. Um, even though he literally had to use like what two special moves or attacks just to take care of him, hey man, he's still going crazy out here. And Maharaga, um, y'all know, can't Megami just uh, summon that back or like literally no, I guess, right? But if he is able to summon it back, then. Yeah, that'd be crazy or something similar um you have the same strength or something yeah that'd also be cool but yeah sugana i think he basically decimated it to where he can't even bring it back anyways but other than that um yeah we just had itadori you know he just saw everything it, all the memories and everything just came to him all at once and and now he's just thinking like okay i need to at least do something good you know i need to at least keep on fighting and not just you know sit here and cry you know cry about it like no i need to do something or else you know it would just make it seem like i just let that happen you know um so that's definitely good you know you don't want no main character just saying i can't take this no more and then just leaves or something like now you want him to keep on going you know it's not easy pushing through that but hey man just got to keep on going um but other than that, all I can think um, that's gonna happen now, I know we got Mahito. Yeah, we take, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we took care of like all the main uh, villains, really. Yeah, like of that side, yeah, that we've known so far, Drogo and all of them. But yeah, so far we just now got uh, Kinjuku. <laughs> yeah, Kinjuku um, in Ghetto's body, Mahito. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Um, so I guess now, Either confront Mahito somehow, some way, and then hopefully we can confront, you know, um, who is it? Nanami, Nanami, yeah. Him, and then some other sorcerers that we also have here. Hopefully they're alive. We know Nanami is somewhat fine, not really, but yeah, hopefully he gets the help that he needs. But other than that, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's just get this reaction started. Yeah, look at his hands. Scraping it on that concrete, too. See all these thoughts and everything that was happening in the past. Yeah, just coming back to him. <laughs> okay, Nanami on the beach here. Just, what, vibing. Letting life take its course. Okay. Mahito! Really? He cannot take a break. I mean, he just got burnt by Jogo. And here we go. But Ita Itadori should be here too, because it looked like the same area. Man, they better not be showing all this beach and all that, because... Nah. <sighs> you already know, whenever the character gets the spotlight, especially in this show... Yeah, look at this. He's already done enough. Man, you already know what that means. And he's... Come on. It's like we... It, it's like, have we already gotten enough deaths? Like, gee, at least he's... At least he's got his moment. Yeah. 
Look at that and touching him. Yeah. And oh, and Itadori just. Yeah, he Itadori's been through way too much. This is about to be his breaking point. His final words right here. You take it from here. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. One of the best characters. Just like that. Look, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just Itadori's breaking point right here. Like, he just literally witnessed Sukuna or whatever Sukuna just did. Yeah. Yeah, this is just crazy. It's like, how are you even supposed to always oh, stab? Almost got him. Like, we just had a whole moment. We're going straight into a fight. Like, I I can't even... I'm still trying to process what just happened. But, yeah, like I said, we just got to keep on moving. Yeah, you're Jujutsu, Jujutsu Sorcerer. Don't let yourself get overcome by anger. Or any strong emotion. Even if you have any, oh man, all the right to act that way, but you just gotta stay reasonable. But here we go, round two. What we've been waiting for. Ooh, yes. You want that good kick? Okay. In that tight space, too, yeah. We got the elevator? Okay. Yo, they be having the most craziest places to fight in an elevator. Yo. Hey, yo. I don't know about that. <laughs> Might still getting a little closer. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, yeah, get him up in that corner and just start ramming him. Yeah, just messing with him. Yeah, it's already transfigured humans. Oh, that's why, um, was it Doggo and just spit all of those people out? Or skeletons, really. Yeah, they were nothing. Yeah, and he split himself up. So we gotta deal with two different Maitos. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he is he's definitely a problem. Okay, nobody. Yeah, let's see if this is her time to shine. And that is it for this one. Well, let's hope. Yeah, because that is the other Mahito, so...
Yeah, let's just hope that he doesn't have to bring Nobada over to you uh, to Itadori and literally, yeah, just break his spirit. Yeah, he, hey man, Itadori, he is definitely holding it down because probably anyone else would not be able to control themselves and just would have let loose already. But I don't know for. <sighs> Yeah, if it's like if it wasn't Nanami, then yeah, it'd probably be nobody. But hopefully, like I said, that doesn't happen. But I, I don't know. I mean, Chibia. At this point, it's like I don't know who's gonna be alive, who's just gonna die. I mean, it's just it's it's whatever at this point, you know. I like. If it seems like someone like Nanami's having his moment, I mean, he, he literally could have been alive right now. Even if he had half of his body kind of burnt, he still could have at least been healed somewhat. You know, there's definitely nothing too wrong with that, I guess you could say. But, yeah, after seeing what I'm seeing on the beach and all that, him being all happy and stuff, it, yeah, I, I just, you know, that's that's just it for him. You know, I just got to accept that at this point. Um, like it was already getting bad at first, but like after, you know, yeah, what once like what Toji, yeah, once he came about and then Sukuna, that was it. It's like, you know, you just gotta expect it at this point. But there's just hope nobody's at least that one person that we can keep alive here. I, I don't know, but at least Itadori is holding us on here. Yeah, at least, yeah, dodge. Oh, man, you do not want Mahito to touch you, like, at all. Like, literally just the tiniest little sensation. I don't even know. Tiny little touch, and that, that's it for you, basically. Um, but at least he's doing a good job dodging and all that. Even in a oh, very cramped space, the elevator, and then, what was it, on the wall there? Yeah. But other than that, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see and, um, yeah, to continue this fight later on. But, yeah, Nanami, yeah, I just can't even, yeah, it's like, I guess it's to be expected, but just how do you even process that? And then go into a whole fight right after, and it's like, I'm trying to be hyped for Itadori and be like, oh, yeah, here we go, round two. Like, we about to go crazy, but, like, I can't. Like, yeah, that's just, wow. But... Other than that, I mean, this is Jujutsu, you know, and they have done this kind of in season one, like, yeah, there is no mercy when it comes to characters, like, yeah, we'll probably see him, like, one episode, and then that'll just be it, you know, so, we just have to deal with it, but other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe again, and I'll just see you guys in the next one.